Alright, welcome. We're going to be doing some cooking today. That's what I'm doing. It's the kind of cooking that uh, nobody should be proud of. Just a bunch of cheese. And what I'm doing, I'm grinding it up. I'm going to get it into small chunks, right? Because I'm going to make a huge pot of mac and cheese. So, I kind of make up my recipe a little different every time I uh, make it. So anyway, you got a bunch of different cheeses. I was looking around the fridge going like, what do I got? I got a bunch of cheese here. So let's go look in the fridge, see if we got any other cheese. It's like, so I'm in the fridge. I got a bunch of junk in the cheese drawer. Like, here's some cheese, you know, which is great. I got some uh, mozzarella. Let's check the date on that. Make sure that we're still in the ballpark. And over here, we got some ranch dressing. Like, you think that's going to be useful for mac and cheese? You know what? It might be. Let's, let's, let's get that too. See any other stuff in here? I got some, like, here's some vegan coconut cheese. You know, that's what happens when you live with a woman. You start buying crap like that. Yeah, so there's some fresh mozzarella. You know what? The date on the package said, you know, probably don't eat this after September something. We're into November, and you know what? I'm gonna fucking eat it. Here's the water. We're boiling some macaroni in there. Well, not yet, but it's, it's gonna start. You know, life can be complicated. It can be, it can be full of problems. But one thing I found, if you got some mac and cheese, you, you know, you got that, and a lot of people don't have that. And while I'm out doing that, it looks like the water started boiling, which is handy because that's what we want. I got a big bag of noodles here. We're gonna dump that in. So, got my herbs. Got a big thing of noodles. Um, you know, put those in there. So, when, once you got your noodles in the pot, you got a big funky ladle, you're gonna wanna stir them a little. And that's why I got my big funky ladle. I like this one, cause it's got the teeth and it's got the vent. So, when I'm, you know, playing with the noodles, the water goes down, but I can kinda move them around. This is real good. This is my favorite ladle. I hope you got a favorite ladle. I'm making it up as I go along here, but I think I know where I'm headed. I'm probably gonna put some, uh, once I get everything, uh, the noodles all boiled, and the cheese kinda mixed in there with some milk, cream, or maybe this organic ranch dressing that I found. I'm gonna get that in there, put some herbs on there, mix it all in, get the flavors I want, and then I'm gonna bake it in a pan with some uh, breadcrumbs or panko, something like that across the top. And this is a great recipe to kind of get rid of some things you got laying around the kitchen, like this cheese right here. There's nothing really wrong with it, but it got a little dried out where the package was kind of open, so, you know, that's gonna be a great little piece of cheese. You know, and when I'm boiling the water, I put in herbs right there in the pot, you know, just like, let's get that going. So as they're cooking, these dried herbs, you know, some Italian seasoning, thyme, rosemary, things like that, they're actually boiling out right into the water. So the noodles are getting a little bit of seasoning too. So while the noodles are boiling, I'm thinking, okay, I need to make a roux to get this uh, cheese all melted correctly and everything going. And what you're looking at right now, that's some uh, coconut oil which uh, I'm gonna use instead of butter just cause I happen to have a bunch of it. I bought a big can of it, a uh, jug of it, about fuck, 56 ounces here. Uh, we're gonna use some up. It uh, melts just like butter once you get it in a pan. Kind of like a vegetarian organic Crisco. All right, so you miss a couple things. I dumped all the hot water out. It was just couldn't hold the camera at the same time. So dumped all the hot water out, got the noodles going. Um, then I added them to a roux, which was basically uh, some flour and, and kind of like butter or coconut oil in there and got that uh, starting to brown up. Then I added in some more herbs and the cheese to get all that melted together. I just added some noodles in here to get it all sticky. I got the rest of my noodles here. I might add some more just to kind of melt everything together before I put it in the oven and bake it. And we're going to bake it for a little while and that's going to really seal the deal. So let me, let me get back to this before I burn it. Talk to you guys, because it's on a hot burner here and we got to keep it going. And don't laugh, hopefully I don't spill much. Okay. All right, kids. You got to get in there. I'll let you back in there. That's where you came from. It's your homeland. Well, it was temporarily. You're like refugees, you're getting moved around and then basically you get cooked. So we're getting all the cheesy noodles. They've now been coated in a mixed cheese sauce. I got some various cheeses in there, everything from goat cheese to Gouda. You know, some of this stuff cost 22 bucks a pound. Some of it was just, I don't even know, surplus cheese. But we're getting it all in there. Look at the cheesiness. Look at that, there was mozzarella in there. So it's all going in. 
and then heat on the bottom there and cook it a little and then that's going to seal up and create a creamy goodness look at all that cream i got to get off the pan back in the other pan with the cheese so let's give me a second to do that i went a long time decades without knowing about smoked paprika and uh it kind of changes everything yeah i'm getting so into it i forgot you guys were here i just put some smoked paprika on the top some panko breadcrumbs it's all in the pot now and we're going to put that kettle in the oven at about 400 degrees until it browns up on the top to get a little crispy and that means everything will be melted on the inside too which it already has been melted at least once but then we'll double melt okay see you in a minute did you see that that was the action shot i don't know i don't have a cameraman so i'm doing double duty We'll let that uh, cook for a little while and I'll, I'll check in. You hear that sizzle? That's it. We made some mac and cheese. So put it in the oven there for about half an hour with the cream sauce boiling. And now we got something we can eat. So, you know, maybe, maybe an hour at the most invested in this whole project. Um, worthwhile, no doubt. It probably another hour to clean up actually so I don't know man have to deduct some points as well but we'll have a bowl here and celebrate Thank mm -hmm. you.